Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I am Neha Paryani and in this session we are going to discuss about the meaning of previous year and assessment year in income tax. So in the previous sessions we have discussed a few concepts from the subject income tax. So you can watch the videos, you can get its link in the description box below or at the end of this video. I would suggest first you come from the beginning and then you can watch the current video. So it is very important to clearly understand the meaning of previous year and assessment year in order to calculate the income tax. Okay. Usually these terms create the confusions when you're, when you're initially learning the subject. So it is very important to clearly understand both of these terms. So first we will discuss what is meant by previous year uh, as per our income tax law. So as per the income tax law, the year in which the income is earned, this is very important, is called as a previous year. So in uh, any year, when a person is earning some income, that year we call it as the previous year. In layman's language or in common language, current financial year is also known as the previous year. Again, this is very important, the current year, what we are into. Currently, that year will be the previous year. How? I will explain you very soon. When we'll understand the concept of assessment year, I will explain you how the financial year, the current financial year will become the previous year. But here we need to remember that any year in which the income is earned is called as the previous year. Suppose there is an employee. Suppose we can take example of a teacher. So teacher is earning salary uh, in the month of uh, now it's March uh, 2021, right? So March 2021. So our teacher will earn the salary in the March of uh, in the month of sorry, March 2022. Okay. So this year will be the previous year for the teacher because they are earning the income in this year. Okay. Next. So it is a period of 12 months commencing on 1st of April. We need to remember all the previous years are of 12 months. It is commencing and starting on 1st of April every year and ending on 31st March immediately preceding the assessment year. So before uh, the assessment year starts, our previous year ends. So our previous year ends at 31st of March. Okay. So if we can take the example of this exam, if we can take this example, so March 2022, so on 31st March 2022, so this previous year will end and from 1st of April 2022, next year starts. So next year will be called as our assessment year. Okay. And what about this, cur this current year, March 2022? So this must have started on 1st of April. So 1st of April 2021. 31st March of 2022 is the current financial year. We can also call it as the previous year for the next assessment year. So basically, the year in which the income is earned is called as the previous year. So current financial year is also called as the previous year and it is a period of 12 months and as soon as the current year ends or the previous year ends, the next assessment year will start. Okay, now let us discuss about the meaning of assessment year. So once you know the meaning of both of these terms clearly, then I'll give you another example. The assessment year is the year that comes after the financial year or you can say after the previous year. So as I told you, previous year and financial year or current year, both the things are the same. Okay, do not get confused. Financial year is also known as the previous year. Next, the year in which the income which is earned in the previous year is assessed and taxed. So again, this word is important. The year in which the income that we have earned in the previous year, uh, in the assessment year, that same income will be assessed and taxed. So what is mean by assessed? Assessing the income is nothing but. So in the previous year, the SSC or the taxpayer must have filed the returns, right? They must have provided the information 
from which oil sources they are earning the income. So assessing the income is nothing but verifying, verifying the information, verifying the returns filed by the taxpayer. So after assessing if they are genuine, if everything is genuine and the same income will be taxed. It means on that income, the government will charge the income tax. So basically, the year in which we pay the tax is known as assessment year. So I'll make it clear to you. So previous year is nothing but the year in which income is earned. Okay. And assessment year is nothing but the year in which income, the same income is taxed. So in the one year, we are earning the income. In the immediately next year, we are paying the tax for that income. So the year in which we are paying the tax for the income is called as the assessment year. Okay. So here an example is given to you. If financial year is 2021-22, the assessment year will be 2022-23. So I've already explained you. So if the current financial year, we are into the financial year, 2021-22, right? Right. So if this year starts from 1st of April 2021, so this will end on 31st of March 2022. And in this time period, suppose whatever a teacher has earned, suppose a teacher has earned an income of 6 lakh rupees per annum. Okay, so this 6 lakh rupees will be taxed in the next year. That is nothing but 2022-23. That will be the assessment year. And when this year will start, it will start from 1st of April 2022. And it will end on 31st March of 2023. So this 6 lakh rupees will be taxed in the next year. That is in the year 22-23. That is nothing but the assessment year okay and always the assessment year starts immediately as soon as the previous year ends so if the previous year is ending on 31st march of 2022 the next day immediately next day our assessment year starts and before 2023 completes before march 2023 completes this is 6 lakh rupees income what the teacher has earned this will be taxed this will be assessed and taxed so current year or financial year is known as previous year and we can say next year will be called as the assessment year. Okay, so that's all for today's students. So if you found it helpful, please hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel. So we are discussing more topics. We'll also do numericals in the income tax subject uh, in our upcoming classes. So I hope to see you all in my next classes. So till that, thanks for watching. And happy learning.